Tis the season. You cannot wash my windows, sir. I don't have any change. You got any quarters? Or no, any, like, just get out of here. Tokens? Get out of here. Chuckle cheese <laughs> Tis the season, the Halloween season, and you know what? It's actually very difficult to find a costume when you don't have a girlfriend. I've had a girlfriend many years of my life, and now I'm single, and I don't want to be that guy that pulls up to a party that just has the blood from his mouth like he's a vampire. I feel like that's very lazy. So I'm going to be the Joker. Yes, this is a Willy Wonka costume. I literally had to tuck the Willy down in the Wonka. And now I'm going to wear a shirt with this, okay? I'm not a goddamn douche, but I'm going to be the Joker. You know, maybe I'll find like a good like yellow shirt. You know, I think this is supposed to be lipstick. I'm the Joker or something. Sorry, this is a horrible costume. I can't thrive on Halloween without a girlfriend. Honestly, Tara carried that shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm the Joker. Oh my god, I look like shit, dude. Oh my god, it just it looks like I just ate the Kool-Aid man's ass. Now, I know everyone went to TwitchCon this year. I'm a little jealous, but dude, come on. And the Halloween season, like, I'm definitely just gonna go to Halloween parties instead. I think that's a lot more fun. I'm going to one tonight, actually. Meeting up with a couple of my buddies. And then I'm gonna rage, baby. I'm gonna fucking rage. Honestly, like living in LA, there's always a lot going on. It's kind of like a loop, you know? You have to get into like a pocket of like the loop and then you just start hearing about things happen all the time. There's just a lot going on this month, okay? There's a lot going on this month. Let's get into the Burger King meal. Oh my God. See, oh my God. Burger King is notorious for fucking up your order. So I wanted the ghost pepper sandwich and the ghost pepper fries. And they're like, okay, what fries for the burger? And I was like, no, no, no. I want it to be like a meal with the, just the ghost pepper burger and the ghost pepper fries. And they're like, uh, okay, so what fries? I'm like, no, 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 I don't want, I don't want fries. I want the ghost pepper fries as the fries for the meal. And they're like, okay, so what fries for the meal? I was like, small fries. So now I have a, ah! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. More reasons to die. Now I have two drinks and two fries. I'm just gonna leave these fries there. You know, someday I'll be hungry. I'll just leave them there. You know, I always like to keep a few fries under the seat if, in case I ever get hungry. So I got Coke Zero as the drink. Honestly, this sounds so cringe, but I don't like getting Coke Zero from fast food restaurants unless I pour it myself because I don't trust them. It could be regular Coke. They always mess it up with Diet Coke. But the thing is, is you could tell when it's Diet Coke or not. You could tell. You can't tell when it's Coke Zero. So you don't know if they gave you regular Coke or not. You know what I'm saying? You know, they don't think that deeply about that stuff. You know, like I could have diabetes. But honestly, I, I got the feeling that it's regular Coke, so I'm not even gonna drink it. So the Ghost Pepper Whopper with cheese, Mr. Squidward, with cheese. I'm gonna do a Squidward impression and see if they're gonna be horribly cringe or spot on. It's either gonna make everyone love me or everyone hate me. Sponge! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I can't do it. I can do Shrek though. Donkey! That'll win you guys back. Did that win you guys back? Are you back with me? Are you with me? Donkey! Let's get into this Whopper before I embarrass myself more. The Ghost Pepper Whopper is a Halloween promotional item. Whoa! It's orange! Guys, I had no idea. I barely looked into this. That's very fun. The sesame seeds are black. This is fun. Life is fun. Maybe I don't want to die. Oh, and it's, oh my god, it's got a little bacon on there. Okay, okay. Little bacon. They, oh my god, is that the ghost pepper? It looks like a pile of toenails. I know because I bite mine off. Oh man, I don't know. I like let's let's look at these fries. I kind of want to scope everything out before we get into it. Very underwhelming. Very underwhelming not fun i've never been a fan of chicken fries i mean just come on chicken strips or french fries okay mixing them together just i don't like it so i got a tattoo check it out i realized and i don't know how many guys know this when you get a tattoo it's never supposed to scab if it's scabbing it's healing wrong Okay, I didn't realize this until like 20 tattoos in, but it's never supposed to scab. And this one did not scab. You take care of it and it goes straight to the flaky healing phase. So when it scabs, it's actually wrong. It's because when you get it, you know, maybe you'll have like a little blood on you still. And the blood, if there's ever any blood that sticks around on a healing tattoo, it turns into a scab, you know, it like warps. So you got to get all the blood off of it or it's prone to scabbing. I don't know if I talked to you guys about this, but I want to get a big tattoo right here 
and right here. I want to get a nice little tribal thing down here. I want to get like tribal flames. I think it'll look so badass, but I asked my tattoo artist and they said that it's literally soul sucking, soul sucking. I Googled it. I said, what, what's the pain scale? 10. It's a 10. That means I'm in the, for the worst amount of pain in my life. I asked my fucking tattoo artist, how long is it going to take? He said three hours on each side. So I'm really scared. I don't know what to do. Like, what do I do? Do I drink three margaritas before? I don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, but it's going to look so good after. I don't know. Oh, let me know what you guys think if I should or shouldn't. I'm really debating it. I really fucking want it though. I think I'm going to do it after Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, let's get into this ghost pepper burger. Now, ghost pepper is supposed to be like the hottest pepper to exist. Let's try it out. Oh my fucking god, that's delicious. Burger King is my favorite fucking burger, and I'll I'll stick by that to my fucking deathbed. Let me tell you why. It's a oh my god! Oh that's hot! Oh! Oh my god! Shove a stick up my ass and call me a corn dog! Oh! Oh my god, she's bringing the heat! Satan be god! That packs a punch! That shit good as hell though. The bacon on it really slaps my dick. I really like it. There's only a few items that I actually finish after my stream. This will be one of them. I've said this before, I love Burger King. It's my favorite burger. Why is Burger King so good? Let me tell you. First of all, it's because I have taste, motherfucker. And two, it's because it's a charbroil burger, which means that the burger tastes like it was grilled, like a grill charcoal taste. Thirdly, all burgers come with sesame seeds, even the dollar burgers. McDonald's, they don't. There's just a clear, shiny bun that looks like a pair of butt cheeks. This is the real fucking deal. This is a real burger. And if you don't like Burger King, honestly, you can fuck off and die. I love Burger King. Burger King sponsor, man. Chicken strips in the shape of fries. I'm not a fan of that. I would rather have like a nice, thick, juicy chicken tender. But let's see what's going on here. This is ghost pepper. Let's see if we're impressed. The burger was pretty hot. <laughs> bon Appetit. Okay. It's that feeling of whenever you eat something spicy and it's not that hot and then you swallow it and you're like, eh, eh. you feel like a little bit of spice tickle in the back of your throat. Honestly, I'm not a guy. I'm not a good, I'm, I'm not a big fan of, sorry, this shit is, honestly, I'm not, I'm not a fan of these chicken fries. I like the marketing, you know, it's like little ghosts with, uh, that looks like pepper. I mean, dude, what could be better than an orange burger on Halloween? This is definitely the best marketing out of all the fast food restaurants. They actually gave a fuck. I'm gonna have to say on the chicken fries, it's a five out of five marketing, but chicken tenders are better. They're just juicy. This is just all breading. It's not a lot of fun. It's a bit underwhelming. You're not gonna really like it. I'd give it a two out of five. The burger, on the other hand, I mean, it's a Whopper. What more could you want? It's absolutely delicious. It's definitely tickle in my little gooch. I like that it has bacon on it. It's orange orange and even the cheese is orange wait i'm a fucking idiot no that's regular cheese oh i'm a fucking idiot okay forget i said that but look at that dude an orange burger that is hilarious that is so fun i love burger king maybe i'm a little biased but it's a five out of five for me the marketing is a five out of five shout out to burger king it's the only restaurant that actually went kind of hard on their halloween promotions and i really appreciate that so i noticed a lot of you guys really love the videos that me and johnny have been doing together on my youtube it's actually really exciting because i'll go to tiktok and the there's just like clips and clips and clips and clips and clips and clips and clips that just have like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of likes. And I'm like, wow, like we might be onto something really exciting because people are really enjoying this. Like some of the top comments on the videos are who are these people and where can I find them? Like, oh my God, like people are really enjoying us together. You know, we're going to keep up the videos together. And that's kind of like what's been happening to me. Like lately, I've just been like really excited to film because I just feel like we're getting a lot of uh, new audiences. If you haven't had Burger King in a long time, please come and try it again, okay? Just like think about what I'm telling you. It's got the charbroil taste, it's got the sesame seeds. It's amazing, okay? I fucking love Burger King. Love you guys so much. Check out my merch, jakemerch.com. Two new items for pre order. Get it before they're gone. If you're a no name baby, then rep it, baby. Album soon. Love you guys so much. Bye.